up YouTube is going to go over a quick Nemesis Smite jungling guide real fast for you all. Uh, going to go over the builds, the ability, how you want to level up abilities, some matchups, just talk a little bit about the god, and I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it right now. To start off with, you want a Bumba's Mask in the jungle, always, every time you're going to get a Bumba's Mask in a jungler. Uh, on Nemesis, I have always described my beginning builds as if I'm getting red pot I want to be aggressive early if I'm getting boots then I'm just looking to farm to level 5 well in Nemesis you're looking to farm to level 5 but you need a red pot the red pot allows for you to clear fast enough in the beginning to not get put behind in a bad way because a lot of the time if you're just going uh, boots your clear will suffer and you won't make it to the mid camps and you can actually get pushed out of both mid camps and it can be a rough time for you depending on what your middle is for your team so I like Red Pot, and it's simply for clear. It can be very hard to kill somebody early. Sometimes you can win the Poke War, but usually you're not going to win it on Nemesis. So look to get Red Pot for clear, three health potions, and then I only go one mana potion. Nemesis does not use much mana. I never use both mana pots ever. Like, it just doesn't happen. So I'm buying one mana pot. You're going to have, like, 50 gold left over just for extra whatever. It'll let you get boots that much quicker. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into the normal build, the, uh, the actual core of the god. And that is going to be your your warrior tabby boots. Basically, you want your 2 to hit really hard. You're not going to be auto-attacking very much in this stage of the game. Well, like level 5 to 10, you're really not. You just want your 2 to hit as hard as possible and your autos to hit hard when you do hit them. So warrior tabby is going to be key. Second item, Jotun's Wrath. You want to ult as much as possible. I used to say that Nemesis is all about fighting. Uh, like the team fight, like the presence. Well, now Nemesis is about killing that one target. Like it's going back to how it was in season one. With Jotuns, you're gonna have more alts. You're gonna have more shields up. You're gonna have more of your twos to throw out. So basically, you're gonna be able to sustain a little bit more, and you're gonna be able to insta kill people every, like that much more. Your alts up that much more. So you're using your alt on the targets that you all can focus and blow up right away. So Jotun's Wrath is going to be key for you. Executioner is going to be your next item. Like I said, you are an auto attack god. You're just looking to have ults as much as possible. So you'll ult somebody. It'll be in a short cooldown. Then you have executioners to follow up that damage. It's actually a ton of damage. You're stripping your protections off of the target you ult. Then your auto attacks are stacking up the protection debuff. So you're just doing a lot of damage in general. Now, I play Nemesis as a tank killer. This build will kill mages. It will kill hunters. It will outbox everybody. It will do a ton of damage as long as you're using your shield correctly. But... You want kin size. You don't want rage. You don't want death ray. You don't want crit. You don't want something else. You need kins. You want to kill tanks. This this god is meant to shred healers and to shred tanks. If you ult a healer or a tank with this build, you will out damage them. It will happen. It's just a fact. It's going to happen. Next item is mail of renewal. Um, the mail of renewal pickup is against multiple physical damage targets so if they only have one mage in the mid lane and you don't really have to worry about magic defense then go mail of renewal so i'm saying if they have a guardian and then they have a mage in the mid lane mail of renewal is probably your best bet if they have a second mage somewhere so you're gonna have two mages and a guardian or something like that you might want to switch mail of renewal over to spirit's robe it's your choice whatever you want mail of renewal is still op even after this upcoming patch you're going to still want mail of renewal that's just how it is now, in my top 5 junglers build, we're going to round out this build, I just want to jump back. In a previous video, my top 5 junglers build, I gave you guys a nemesis build. It is very similar to this, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I told you why Mailer Vendul is a little bit different. Well, this last item, I'm going Soul Eater. You're getting health, because you are pretty tanky with this build. It's nice, your shield uh, absorbs damage and it allows you to, to sustain more, so having extra health, having extra attack speed, having lifesteal on top of it, and a little bit ma more power is going to be very nice. Now you can swap out Soul Eater for Aussie, it's up to you. I, I kind of like them both even, it just depends on the game. If I'm being more aggressive and I'm not really being focused much, I like Aussie a little bit more because you get some more pen. Um, when you are low health, when you're just sustaining in a fight, you do have that extra lifesteal. It just, it's up to you, it's preference. Um, Soul Eater does buff your team. It's just what you're looking for. I say try Soul Eater for a while because it gives you extra health. It allows you that room to make a little bit more mistake. Like, you can make a mistake, you have extra health, you can still get out. It's okay. So, this is the build you're going to look at. I explained why. You're literally an ult bot. You have max CDR with this build. You have a ton of auto attack damage. You have some sustain. You have health. You've got protections. You've got everything you need in this build. Now, we're going to go to the abilities. Just to, it's, it's really simple and straightforward. You're going to level up your two first. It's your only damaging ability, really. It's going to help you clear early. It is what you're going to max out uh, next to your ult. So you're going to max your 2 and your 4, your 2 and your ult. That's the two things that are most important. After that, you're going to max your shield. After that, you're going to max your dash. 
Your dash you really don't use for anything other than escaping or chasing down that last target or something. You don't want to dash into a fight unless you're just going all out and that person's out of position or something. You really want to save your dash to catch up to a target that gets away or to escape a fight. You can ult somebody, go in, pop your shield to them, auto them a few times, they could die, and then you can just dash out and you're safe and you're good to go. So your order you want to level up abilities is your 2, and then your 4, and then your 3, and then your 1. And with your 3, remember that if you get stunned during your 3, it takes the shield off of you. So you really want to eat that CC combo and then throw up your 3 right as they're about to do the damage to you. That's pretty much the ideal use of your 3. It does reflect a little bit of damage, it heals you, it's awesome, it makes you like a frontline tank god, it is amazing. This is something you want to look at. Now, matchups for Nemesis are a little bit different these days. It used to be, uh, used to be kind of hard to play Nemesis like a month ago, it was like impossible, like, Nemesis just wasn't good. Well, Nemesis has always done fairly well against Thor if you play properly. Do not pop your shill, uh, your three before he hammer stuns you if you're playing against a Thor. Look for a Thor to hammer throw into you for damage and then catch him. As soon as he hammer throws you ult and you blow him up. It's it's really easy and a lot of Thors don't realize it. It's a huge mistake. It does. It, it's basically the way you counter it. Now, Nemesis can do well against a Wheelix mainly because you don't have a jump. You have a dash, but your dash can get cancelled by his by Wheelix's feather step, her feather step, sorry. It, some of these matchups are not necessarily counter matchups, good or bad for either of you. You just have to play right and you'll be okay. So look to play against the Wheelix, you should be okay. So I mean you play properly. You can actually um, definitely beat a Mercury. You can beat Nija if you have beads and use them properly just because Nija has no mobility. So you're gonna look to ult and then just blow up a Nija. Ratatasker you can actually be because you can blow up all these targets. You just have to look for them to be out of position. Don't alt them with their dashes up. Or don't alt them if they're just gonna get away instantly. Just be smart about how you alt alt the people out of position with low mobility. Um, Thanatos you can do very well against. Sirket is probably not something you ever want to play Nemesis into. Sirket should destroy a Nemesis if played properly. Bastet is something that you can beat but you can also lose to simply because if you're caught out with your dash down the cats will destroy you and you're dead. There's nothing you can do. Um, just gonna throw this out there. Arachne destroys Nemesis. Uh, her stun will take away your shield and she can just outbox Nemesis. That's just how it works. She can ult when you ult. It's not pretty. It's not a good time. So Guardians and Warriors Pretty much every guardian you'll insta kill, but there's some guardians that are very, very good for you to play against. Ares for one, low mobility, you can insta kill an Ares. Um, Bacchus, Bacchus has to leap into a team fight, you instantly auto Bacchus after he leaps, he's dead. Sylvanas, low mobility, instantly ult him, he's dead. Ymir, no mobility, instantly ult and they're dead. You know, you kind of you see this pattern. If, if they can't get out or they have something they have to use to all in you, then you just focus them. You can kill tanks. Your, your ult literally makes it so you can kill any tank you want to tank whenever you want. In the warrior department, you can insta kill Balonas. You just have to make sure you don't ult and then they get out with their ult. You know, you gotta be smart about it. Guan Yu, you can insta kill a Guan Yu, just look to do it after he ults so he can't just ult away. Hercules, pretty low mobility, very easy to insta kill a Hercules. Odin, if he initi initiates with his one with his leap, ult him and kill him. Um, Nemesis has always been a hard counter to Osiris. Just once again, Osiris doesn't really, even his ult isn't that much mobility. You can Focus down on Osiris very, very easily. Ravana is probably another situation. Haven't really played too many Ravanas. R Ravan, whatever you say his name. It's probably the same. It's a, in my eyes, it's the same situation. You're just going to ultimate kill him, kind of like Osiris. Wukong can be difficult. Unless you're going to lock down a Wukong that doesn't have beads, you don't want to ult a Wukong uh, and try to blow him up. Because the second he gets ult, if he's not in a CC chain, he's just going to ult out and live, and your ult's wasted. Tear you can blow up. Vamana, you can definitely blow up. I was actually in a game the other night where it was very close. It was like 60,000 gold, 60,000 gold, like even. We were doing, trying to pull a fire giant. We were baiting. The Vamana, you know, normally Vamana's going to run up and just stare at you and take no damage. Well, this Vamana walked up. I ulted as a Capri pulled the Vamana, and the Vamana didn't even get out of the Capri pool. He died instantly. We all just blew him up. He just instantly died because Nemesis ult is very, very strong. Now, mages... You can do fairly well against just about every mage. Apooch, you destroy, low mobility. Anubis, you destroy, low mobility. Um, Hell, you actually destroy because of the low mobility and the fact that you can outburst the healing. Um, Hebo, you can do well against. It can be hard if they play properly. For Chunga, if they play properly, properly can be actually kind of difficult to kill. Isis is easy to kill. You just have to watch out for that alt. Try to bait out the alt or just weakening on top of the Isis alt and just kill her through it. Uh, Janus is actually one that's very difficult. Janus has slows, so unless you get a heavenly on your team, it'll be hard to stick to a Janus, even if you ult the Janus, because it's just going to portal away. It's kind of difficult in that situation. 
Um, new walk can be difficult. Uh, she doesn't have mobility, but she has invis that she can use well. You have to get in her face to attack her, and she can stun you with creeps. So that's one of those matchups that can go one way or the other, depending on how good the new eye is. Poseidon, you can actually insta-kill, just play smart. Ra, you can insta-kill, play smart. Scylla's kind of difficult. Vulcan, you can insta-kill. Zeus, the new Zeus, is actually going to be kind of rough, because you're going to try to insta-kill Zeus, and he's going to turn on you with his stupid 2 and 1 balance. It's just going to hurt. And Nemesis has always been a counter to Zhang Kui. It's just... Nemesis has always been a counter to Zhang, to uh, and Osiris. Just perfect counters forever. It's always been like that, will always be like that. So just remember that when you're looking at your mages you're playing against. I'm hoping that, uh, and hunters are kind of the same thing. You should be able to outbox every hunter. The most annoying hunter for you is probably going to be an Apollo because of Mez. And that's about it. It's the only thing you really have to worry about. So, I really do hope this helps. I really do hope this helps. I really do hope that this helps. I know I went through it very quickly. I want to make these as short as possible, mainly because I can ramble about stuff a little too much. So, we went over the build in the beginning. We went over how to rank up your abilities and why. We went, up how, went over how to use your abilities and kind of what's good and bad about each ability. We went over a lot of the matchups that you're good in and you're bad in. I just hope this stuff helps. Try to put it to use. I'm sure you will see good things. Uh, Nemesis is actually getting a buff in the next patch. You're going to have a shorter cooldown on the 3, the shield, which is just going to help that much more. I already think Nemesis is top 5. That, that buff is just going to like solidify the fact that Nemesis is actually top 5. And yeah, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Like the video, please. It does help. I realize it's just you clicking on one thing, but it does make a big difference. And as always, I appreciate your all support. So thanks again. Oh, this you crazy mother...